Are you recording right now? Yeah. Dope. In five, four, three. He <laughs> did it. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Eric. I'm Adam. And I'm Phil. And we are Just the Basic. That's right. It's the most straightforward album that the band has done. I think so, too. And uh, definitely, I don't know, man, fresh. But every new album is fresh to me. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as what we what we are. Yeah. It's just it, we got much more mature at writing, I feel like. And we have a new guitar player in the band, which I'm not going to be the only guitar player on the recordings, which definitely plus. helped out a yeah. lot. <laughs> well, there was more collaboration on this one, right? Yeah, it wasn't just more was more heads yeah. in, in in the in the mindset of re, 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 recording this album, which is great. And it definitely um, more we had a punk vibe. Oh punk yeah, influence. I think it's definitely pretty punky. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would say so. But it still has the heavy spots, you know. But we didn't go into writing every song saying oh you have to have this part in it or this part in it it right. was just like a little bit more easier to write because it was you know we had enough people involved in this one that it wasn't just one person's opinion enough of different perspectives to really take it outside the box i think so too right and the most complex bass lines ever oh, ever. ever probably the most technical work i've ever done <laughs> <laughs> It's the same as it's always been. We've been in the same <laughs> studio for the last two albums, and we're at the same studio for this one. Um, and Phil's been a part of every album so far that just the basic came out with, and now he's part of the band. And so we're kind of just producing it ourselves, but he's the one that's got the equipment. <laughs> that's a big part of it. Yeah. <laughs> having, having the recording equipment. Plays a big part of it. One hundred percent. Oh, so you're a sound engineer, you say? Would you like <laughs> to be in our band? <laughs> and, it, and for some reason, he said yes. Yeah, I still can't figure that one out. Neither <laughs> can I. It, play, it all plays a part in our DIY kind of function. Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, like, still ongoing. It is still ongoing. It's still ongoing. Yeah, I mean... The album's not finished. But it was it's probably one of the best writing processes I've ever had. Because I finally well, went home. We had, I had some great ideas. Brought it to... With Phil. This is before I asked him to be a part of the band. And we just started with the click track. And started hashing the songs out. And having finally a chance to have two guitars going at once. It made it a lot easier to, to to write i feel like and i got some we had ideas to bounce off each other right that that's the biggest thing you know i mean yeah, you got somebody to tell you what doesn't work exactly right and right. a lot doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> like you got to write a song here you can't just write guitar parts <laughs> which was you know awesome and uh, we were able to sit down with the click track and um when we were writing we we pretty much recorded the whole time and then we um had some great riffs and we started piecing things together and when we went back and listened to it we trimmed a lot of the fat yeah, yeah. that's the one thing that with especially with the way i wrote back for the previous two albums we just left them as and uh, some some parts probably you didn't even need or we played them too many times and we were just trying to for, for vocals i feel like we were just trying to fill in the spots right right so i think we actually wrote songs this time that's why it's more, more straightforward. Yeah, hence the more straightforward vibe. 100%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't make sure I don't say that too many times. Because I did. 100%. <laughs> well, mine is uh, Never Giving Up on You. That's a good that one. That chorus is great. I, but I also help write that so you did go. like i just had the, the the rhythm guitar part and phil took 
control. And not every song that we that we that I, that I brought to the table was finished. No, but a no, lot of it a was. A lot of it was. Uh, some of them were even written. Like most of this record was written throughout this year in a number of sessions. But yeah. you guys brought over a couple of them that was pretty much done. Even some of the drums were already recorded. On exactly. Them. You know. Um, I like them all. I think that there's a lot of awesome riffs in all of them. Um, you know, I mean, I wrote a lot of it, so it's like it's hard to say. Oh, I I don't like that song. Right. You know, I mean, I wouldn't have. It wouldn't be on the album if I didn't like it. I mean, there's enough. Like we talked about, there's enough heads on this one that if it doesn't sound good, if we don't like it, it's not going to be on the album. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, sure I'm not about. picking a favorite. I haven't really gotten a handle on all of them yet <laughs> that's true i've only recorded bass on three so he hasn't heard them all <laughs> <laughs> but i'll pick a favorite eventually eventually <laughs> tune in next year yeah <laughs> Well, I don't think it affected us as a band at all. No, no, um, not if at anything, all. it freed up me a little bit more, you know, that, that I wasn't out performing live with my other band. That's true. You know? It gave me a little bit of free time to actually sit at home and start writing new riffs for the album. Right, right. And uh, But what, as us, as, as a band, like, we didn't practice too much. We were basically more of a recording artist, so a lot of the things that we did was through email. Yep. I would we would come into the studio and me and Phil would work and then we would send it over to Adam. And then Adam would either listen to it or not. Like I don't I don't know what he did. I would ignore it and lie and be like, Yeah, that sounded really good. <laughs> <laughs> and but it still it would still came together and we started practicing the last we definitely got on the ball. And like last practicing the last couple of months. As the songs were already start as the structures were done with the songs, we started like yeah. And everyone was up everyone was up to par and we we were we were ready for what we were we were ready for this. Right. So yeah. Maybe in a year we'll actually do a live show. Maybe. Yeah. We gotta <laughs> find a drummer, but I feel like we said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, probably a music video, right? Yeah. Like an actual one. Have yeah. you done a music video? We have never done anything that really showed us. What is the single? <laughs> Tune in next year to find out. <laughs> um, well, we'll do a video for one of the songs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We definitely are going to do a video for one of the songs. It's, um, we don't know which one we want to do yet. It's probably going to be unicorn themed, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But no, you will see us as a band playing the music, which is kind of exciting. And um, there's really, when it comes to the single, to be honest with you, we just kind of put the songs out as they as they come. We're not gonna like, Usually, yeah. we're not gonna put the album out as its entirety. We're just gonna record, and we got a few songs already that we're gonna start guitars on, and we got a few songs we're gonna do some vocals on, and then um, as they come together, we're gonna just put them out as uh, as they're finished. Yeah, sounds about right. Well, uh, so man, we are really early in the, this process. We are. We have questions. <laughs> Me and Phil talked about what we wanted to do for it. We've got a concept right now, and you know, I've got my girlfriend Lauren Hedges, who's going to be collaborating with us on bringing that concept to life. And that's as far as we've gotten so far. But we do have a new logo. Oh yes, we have we have a new uh, artwork that that will be on on the album, and um, it's gonna be and it's gonna be we're 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 happy with what we're what, what we're doing. We don't want to give too many details out, but we're, we me and Phil have a great idea what we want to do, and I think it's gonna capture what the album's about. I look forward to seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we, didn't, we didn't email Adam that. Sorry. Staring at you, sitting in the corner of the room. Well, finishing the album. Yeah, we're going to continue recording. Yeah. That's probably point number one. Yeah. yeah. that's We're going to continue getting together. And actually, this album, 
kind of put a little fire under our ass to actually get together. And we've been consistent and we're going to keep it that way. And we're going to keep practicing and, um, you know, hopefully soon enough we'll get a we'll get a drummer involved. We are with a dr- we got with drummer a, we, now. Yeah, we have a drummer now. He's just not official part of the band. But I mean, he doesn't need to know that sooner or later he will be. <laughs> I just haven't told him yet. But he's been um, on all the tracks so far on this album, and um, we're super happy of what he's done. And um, when this album comes out, we are just gonna we're gonna keep writing and keep keep recording. And then hopefully one of these days we can actually get out there and play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh,